Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I have an iPod case and behind me I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and it has happened finally, it is finally so hot that I'm wearing something frozen around my neck because it's warm and that's the polite version of that. I would like, I'd like more of that color to come out but it's not so I'm not going to worry about it. I want to make an iPod case full of colors because usually the, um, I have these leftover colors and uh, right now I don't have any leftover colors to do what I want to do so I'm going to have to just play I want some brights I'm going to have to play with making my color I'm going to have to be patient and pierce the top of most of my containers and that's yes, somewhere, there we go really I guess it's all the bottles. As soon as I walk away, they seize right up on me. Nope, come out. Wow. Okay, I'm glad there was nothing nothing in the way of that. That's just mostly red. I love my gold made with mica powder. I have some turquoise around here somewhere. Where are you? There we are. And I am going to probably... Yeah, I'm just going to have some fun making up some colors that I love and then we'll see what happens from there some more turquoise some Prussian blue which looks very similar to that dark blue I have, what do I have? that's a nice blue but it's not the blue I want I want some of this Bahama blue And I love this neon pink, but it doesn't really always show up. And I would like to have some... Really? Okay. I can see... No, my timer did not start. My camera will shut off at 20 minutes. So in order to give me a couple of minutes for me to talk to you guys about whatever I want to tell you about, i.e. my book, <laughs> Being on the Amazon link, um, I usually try and give myself a warning shot. That was not what I was looking for, but I bet this is, yes, that is exactly what I was looking for. And that yellow, that is a pretty box of colors. Now, I have not used very much of this wonderful forest green. And I know if I'm not careful right now and I fill up this iPod box, I will be sorry because I don't have a level surface to put it on. That's a color shift. What else do I want in there? I want some white, I want some black, and I want some gold. And I want some of this blue. I want everything. And I want that thing blowing across my surface to not blow into my paint. And I would really love to figure out Ah, uh, out. How to get that to stop being clogged. Yeah, you're not coming out, are you? I want some of that paint color, and I'm going to have some. There we go. I got it now. And that thing that did not belong has been extruded. Well, that might be the wrong word, actually, but never mind. I love this color still. I didn't put very much red or magenta in there. Yeah, so much for my plan of trying to underwhelm my paint colors. And lastly, I'm going back to my purple. And then I'm going to try my hardest to find something to level my container on. take a moment. I think I did it. I do. I think I did it. I think I managed to keep it from getting bad. Now I'm going to get some paint out of the way. Hopefully. I'll bring my white over. And it's a warm day now. So I'm going to have to be, I'm going to have to put a really thick layer of paint down in order to keep it moist.
which is okay. I don't know where some of that just went over the side. No, it didn't. Cool. All right, that is a very thick layer of paint. And my OXO omelet turning spatula available on the Amazon link below. The video is the best way to spread that, especially since I can see the little things in there that I do not want to. I just I don't want to see them tomorrow when the painting is drying or dried, because because I keep an air conditioner going in the uh, studio area overnight, which is just a potting shed that's 12 by 13 feet. You can see that studio tour, by the way, if you look for it on the uh, on the playlist in the last. 20 seconds of the video, the end screens will show you um, a playlist, and on that playlist is everything else you might ever want to see, to the tune of almost 500 videos now. Don't let that be intimidating. There's pictures. You can tell what you want to see. That is more paint than I have ever used on any painting ever. This is a whole new ball game. Wicked experiment. Let me just run that OXO omelet turning spatula over the edge. I'm glad I have an edge catcher handy because I may want to be pouring some of that away. I'm going to leave that right on my spatula for this moment. Actually, you know what? I could just tap the end of that right on the edge of my uh, canvas. Not that it won't dry. It will. But at least I'm using the paint. Okay, so here goes nothing. And I'm going to take my iPod box Am I? <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm going to grab a shovel. And I'm going to shovel some colors. I'm going to leave lots of white space in between because I figured out I like to. I'm going to make some fairly random ribbons. I'll let some of that go down over the side. I'm going to keep making ribbons. And because there's so much white paint on, I'm pretty sure there's no way we won't have enough <laughs> paint. I'm going to put that beautiful combination right in there. I'm going to take that paint container and I'm going to put it, look at those, pretty, huh? I'm going to put those behind me with one of my little pieces of acetate on top. I'm going to put this. I'm going to clean my shovel out with my OXO, excuse me, not an OXO, with my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, <laughs> front and back, because the colors are gorgeous. And then I'm going to clean that off on my, uh, on my studio rag. I'm going to get my edge catcher. This is a repeat performance. I'm going to try and, and repeat a performance. Yes, I am. I'm going to try and move that paint back without knocking anything on the floor. I want that paint right there. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I'm not wasting it. Can I get it? Right off my tile. See how I am? All right, so. I said I was going to use an edge catcher, and I will right now. It almost fits across the bottom perfectly. I'm going to let all that paint run right down as best I can and pull at the bottom and run over and back up and leave a whole new batch of colors running wherever they want to go. And then I'm going to tip that edge catcher at the bottom, and I'm going to cover some things. I'm also going to take that paint right off the edge catcher with my spatula, pluck it right off, and put it right back down on the canvas where I want it. I'm going to check my other side. I'm kind of liking that my plan to um, emulate a different artwork that we all like very much is sort of working. I'm going to use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula to drag the paint up and down 
My plan is to use my bamboo skewer also. to spiral some things out maybe. I love the thick white paint because it makes it sort of highlights things which is really neat. I love that aspect of all of this as you drag it up and down. I want to bring some chain into this. I'm not sure. Oh, that's a really long piece. That's probably not the chain I wanted, but I have a smaller piece, and I'm going to give it a try. Oh, I found something that does not belong. It looks like a bug. All right, I don't want that gray paint on there, so I'm going to roll it off on my rag. I'm going to throw my chain in sideways. All right, so there's a bug up there, unless I want to remove that right now, which I actually could because the white paint is so thick. Goodbye, thing. I did use some of my basting brushes, and so I will again, because it's fun. I'm also going to use that to touch up my edge. I want to drag my chain through without destroying too many things. Like beautiful color combinations that I have some of. And that is pretty cool. Not unhappy with any of that. pretty focused and add a few more spirally flowers. Let that paint fall right off again. And bring my skewer over and see what I can do as far as dotting a few things goes. Dragging things up a little further. Adding a little texture here and there. Here and there and there and here. That's not bothering me. I'm having a good time. I recommend this. I don't mind the little gray areas. The spirals are just fine. Having the paint wet and thick is working out very well. I think I could pull a few things from elsewhere. I am pretty happy with all of that. I'm going to drag a few things down, use the skewer that has the paint on it, and let it go over the edge. I don't really think that I need 
to add any more colors of flowers, but I might want a couple of dots. Yes, I might want a couple color dots. I think I'm going to throw a few dots in there. If I can get the paint to come out of the bottle, that is. Oh, there, I got some paint. I kind of wanted some gold in there, and I don't see any, and that just makes me want to put some in, and I think I will put some along my skewer. And then... Just insert it at will. It's very runny today because the heat is melting my paint quite nicely. Just going to run that right up the side. Kind of want some more gold paint. I think I'm going to have to just bring a little piece of acetate over. I want to put some more on there. I love my little dots. And I like putting them on the end of my little weeds. So. I just got to see what else I want in here. And pull a few more things. Where I want them. All right. I have two minutes to tell you guys everything I'm going to tell you. And that is... Here, have a look at that. <laughs> I'm not sure what else I might want to do with this. Other than that, and that paint is so nice and thick that it's not going to be a problem. But, um, like I said, I've got gold dots. I've got a crib sheet that tells me to tell you guys, now that you've seen that, in the last 20 seconds to check out my playlist. I may have mentioned that, like, a bunch of times. I like dragging these things sideways. I didn't use a torch. I'm going to have to do that to get make sure there's no bubbles. This is a bigger version, more colorful by far than the last one, and uh, I don't think it's going to be the last one I do. I like doing this. I'm going to do it again. We torch to release the air bubbles caught in the paint. The paint gets shaken. Also to release patterns. You can see small patterns. I use no silicone in my paintings, but that doesn't mean that I don't get But I don't get patterns, because I do. The Floatrol and the Decart Pouring Medium will do that. I want a red dot. It's not beyond me to steal paint. I might want a purple dot. Or more than one purple dot. I like it. I really want a clean skewer and to see if I can clean this up. So you guys watch a lot of my videos, you'll know what I forgot to say. There's only a minute left. If you want to join this month's contest, please contribute to PayPal or Patreon to support the studio and you will be entered in a uh, there's one of seven artworks you'll be allowed to pick if, you are, if your name is drawn early in April. And I got some edges to cover, but I don't think I should worry about that while you guys are here. 
And uh, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio saying thank you for joining me. Thank you for 53,000 of you. Thank you for checking out my Pinterest, my Instagram, and the volumes of Facebook albums from Wet and Dry Artworks from YouTube. And uh, 